Whether you're creating your own content or outsourcing it to a copywriter, you probably know how important it is to publish content that provides exceptional value to readers. Valuable content boosts brand awareness, improves lead generation, and increases revenue. If you want your content to drive traffic through organic search, you'll also have to make it SEO friendly from the get-go. And since content creation requires a lot of time and resources, we've developed our brand new AI-powered content marketing platform that analyzes competitive textual content. It also offers tips based on best practices used by the highest performing articles in the SERP. Our content tool provides copywriters, SEO specialists, marketers, bloggers, and website owners with valuable solutions for creating landing pages and blog posts. Here, you can find topics and relevant keywords with traffic potential, draw up a content brief, write highly structured content, generate textual content using AI writing technologies, check if your content meets brief requirements and readability standards. You can test this tool by signing up for a 14-day free trial. The link is available in the description below this video. Now, let's figure out step-by-step -step how to get the most out of this tool. In this video, we'll walk through all content creation stages. This involves searching for topic ideas, creating a brief, writing an article, and checking it. The first step to creating content is finding the right topic and keywords to use. You can do this easily with SE Rankings Content Idea Finder. This tool is intended to be your go-to assistant for coming up with relevant and interesting topic ideas. To access it, click on the Content Marketing section in the top navigation bar and select Content Idea Finder. Once you're in the tool, you'll see the report history if you've already looked for content ideas like I have. Click on Find an Idea, then enter a keyword that directly relates to your desired topic, and finally, select a country to collect data. Then let our software come up with relevant topics. Content Idea Finder analyzes the keyword you entered and creates a cluster around it of relevant terms for your new article. One cluster can contain up to 10 keywords. In addition to the complete list of terms, you'll get data on essential parameters for every suggested cluster and keyword. These include the search volume, as in the total number of monthly searches, the keyword difficulty, as in the score that assesses how challenging it will be to get to the top of the SERP with this query. Additionally, you'll see the cost per click metric, as well as the competition level. These will be handy for PPC campaigns. A proper analysis of these metrics will help you determine which keywords have the greatest capacity to maximize your website's return on investment. You can export clusters in Excel or CSV format. Also, carefully observe the titles of pages ranking among the top 10 search results. These titles are clickable, so you can go to any page and evaluate the content on it. Chances are, you'll find lots of content made by your competitors that inspires you to create your own. The last feature of this tool is the mind map. It helps you compare all keywords by difficulty and search volume. After checking the list of relevant keywords, you can make use of them in the content editor when creating a new article. Let's move on to the next step in content creation. At this point, you'll need to figure out how you're gonna structure your next piece of content. If you're not in charge of copywriting, Draw up a brief for the content team or copywriter with all of the text requirements. If you are writing the text on your own, it wouldn't hurt to create an outline first. Writing content is easier when you have a plan in place. Use the content editor tool to create a brief around your target keywords. Content editor makes your life easier by analyzing search results for you and then creating a brief based on a thorough analysis of SERPs. You can jump directly to the content editor from the idea finder just like I did, or access the content editor from the content marketing section in the top navigation bar. If you follow the same process I did, you will see a list of all articles added to the content editor so far. Here, we can see the article I started working on in the content idea finder. We can actually already access this brief, but I wanted to show you how to create a new article from scratch using the content editor alone. To launch a new analysis, go ahead and click the New Article button. It's a simple page and you only have to keep a few settings in mind, like 
which keywords you want to use, which search engine and country you want to collect data from, setting the interface language if the country you selected has multiple official languages. Let's fill those out, give our article a good name, and click the Create Article button. Once everything loads up, you will be redirected to Brief Settings where you can adjust all of the parameters. In the Organic Competitors section, you'll see the top 10 pages displayed in the search results for the selected keyword. Content Editor performs an analysis of this output to create the perfect brief for you. Here, you can toggle on or off any competitor from the list so that they don't impact your recommended content parameters. Make sure to pay attention to these metrics when analyzing each site. The domain and page trust scores. These metrics display the authority of a website as well as that of any given page on it. And the total number of referring domains, which reveals the actual value of the competitor's backlink profile. A proper analysis of these parameters will give you an idea of how strong the backlink profiles of the top ranking competitors are. This will help you gauge how difficult it will be to outperform them. The recommended content parameters seen below are determined based on the average values of the competitors you selected. Content Editor suggests the number of words or characters, headings, paragraphs, and images that should be on a page. You can change these values or disable them so that they don't affect the score. Next up is Terms to Use. Tick the words you want to use in the text. By default, the tool has the most relevant terms selected. In addition to your added keywords, Content Editor offers NLP terms that Google itself considers relevant to your topic. Google also takes NLP terms into account when ranking articles based on how well they cover a particular topic. This means if you want to rank for the relevant SERP, you should also include these NLP terms in your texts. To figure out which keywords are the most profitable, analyze the key parameters that are conveniently displayed near each term. Here, you'll see search volume and keyword difficulty, density, how many of your competitors' pages use the given term, and so on. Keywords you've selected, as you can see in the respective tab, will be added to the brief. These directly affect your content score, so be sure to include them in your article. The last section to look at when creating your brief is the content structure segment. This unique feature allows you to plan and create the article structure. You can use your competitor's headings as reference points. Just add suggested headings to the brief by clicking the plus button. You can then go to My Content Structure to edit competitor headings or create your own structure from scratch. Let me just add a couple of more headings here. All right, this tool also lets you write notes to your copywriter. You can even leave comments on each heading in the article. Once you've created a brief, you can share it with the content team or copywriter so they can begin writing. Providing access to the outline is as easy as one click. Just click the share button, make sure to give users access to the article, and copy the link. Anyone you share this link to will have access to the article without having to log into or create an SEO ranking account. Keep in mind that people with access to the link can only make edits to the article, not to the brief. You can also export your brief and send it to your colleagues via email, among other communication channels. The last step of content creation is, well, creating it. Before writing your text, you can paste the outline structure of your article created earlier in the brief. Then, directly input your text in the content editor, like in Google Docs. Or, you can paste a ready-made article into the tool. If you feel stuck and need some inspiration, consider copying and pasting a piece of your competitor's content into the tool. Then, let our AI rewriter rephrase it for you. The tool rewrites no more than 600 characters at a time, and no more than 2,000 characters per article. You can further polish the text to create your own unique piece of content. For this next part, let me open another article. While writing an article, you can check if it meets your brief's requirements, readability, and SEO standards. To do this, take a look at the right-hand bar. Here, the tool presents all of the essential data for your text. 
The content score reveals how well the article meets your brief requirements. To calculate it, the tool considers various content parameters. You can see the remaining number of words or characters, headings, paragraphs, and images you still need to add to the text. Pay particular attention to the terms shown below. They account for about 80% of the score. Take a look at the Tags tab. It shows the terms your active competitors are using in their headers. Try applying the same terms to your own heading tags. The content editor will also recommend that you remove certain elements from your content if it contains too many of them. For instance, the tool checks completed text for keyword stuffing. Next, under the Quality tab, you'll find all of the grammatical and punctuation mistakes that need to be fixed. Content Editor also provides tips on stop words, as in words that don't add much meaning to a sentence. If your article contains more than 60% stop words, Content Editor will show you that the value is not within the normal range. Plus, you can see here the readability score that shows how easy it is for users to perceive the text. The Outline tab shows the headings you should be including in your content. It can also take you to a competitor's page so you can find out what another website wrote in a similar section under the same heading. Once you've made changes to the text, you can export the ready-made article. And that's it. Today, we learned how to use the content marketing tool. I hope that the information this tool provides will help you create content that both Google and users love. Let me once again remind you, if you're interested in SD Rankings content marketing tool, sign up for a 14-day free trial to test this module. The link will be in the description under this video. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. You can also subscribe to our channel if you want to be notified whenever we drop new content. See you next time.